In this video, I'm going to evaluate the integral of 2xy with respect to x along the curve C, then go on and evaluate the integral of 2xy with respect to y along the curve C, then evaluate the integral of 2xy with respect to the arc length along the curve C, where C is the curve y is equal to x squared or x varying from 0 to 1. So I'll now go on to evaluate those line integrals. But to evaluate those, I'll start by looking at the formulas for evaluating line integrals. For a real valued function p of x, y, and a curve c in R2, if y is equal to f of x and x is varying from a to b, the integral of p of x, y with respect to x along the curve c is equals to the integral from a to b of p of x f of x with respect to x. Then the integral of p of x y with respect to y along the curve c is equals to the integral from a to b of p of x f of x multiplied by f prime of x with respect to x. Then the integral of p of x y with respect to the arc length along the curve c is equals to the integral from a to b of p of x f of x multiplied by the square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared with respect to x. So to evaluate those line integrals, I am going to be using those formulas. So I'll start by looking at the first one there, the integral of 2xy with respect to x along the curve c. So the formula that we use is this one here. So we see that we are evaluating the integral of 2xy with respect to x. Compare it with this part here, p of xy with respect to x. We see that our p of xy there is equals to 2xy. But for our curve there, we are given that y is equals to x squared. So the y there, we are putting it here. Where we are having the y, we will replace it with the x squared. So what we'll be saying there is our f of x is equals to x squared. So if that's the case, then our p of x, y becomes 2x multiplied by x squared, which simplifies to 2x cubed. But from our limits here, our x is varying from 0 to 1. So we have our a is equals to 0, our b is equals to 1. So using those uh, expressions that I've just written there, I will now evaluate the integral of 2xy with respect to x along the curve C. So using this formula here, it will give us the integral from 0 to 1 of 2x cubed with respect to x. The integral of 2x cubed there gives us an x to the power 4 over 2. So we would have x to the power 4 over 2, then put the limits 0 to 1. When we put the limit 0 to 1 there, the result that we get is a half. So the result of the first line integral there is a half. I now move on to the second one, the integral along the curve C of 2xy with respect to y. So the formula that we are now using is this one here, or the one with respect to y. We are having an f prime of x here but we have our f of x is uh, x squared. So we need to obtain our f prime. We just differentiate the f there and we get our f prime of x is equals to 2x. Our p of x, y, we had already obtained it here. It's a 2x cubed. So we go on and evaluate our integral there of 2xy with respect to y along the curve c. Just put the expressions that I have just written there into this formula. Then we have the integral from 0 to 1 of 2x cubed multiplied by 2x with respect to x. 2x cubed multiplied by 2x gives us 4x to the power 4. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 or 4x to the power 4 with respect to x. When we integrate 4x to the power 4, it gives us 4x to the power 5 divided by 5, then put in the limits 0 to 1. And the result that we get there is over 5. So that's the result that we have for that line integral. At the end of uh, this video, I will give an alternative method of evaluating this line integral with respect to y. But for now, I will move on to the line integral there with respect to the arc length ds. 
we have our p of x, y there, we say it is a 2x cubed. So we now want to use uh, this formula here. So the integral of 2xy with respect to the arc length along the curve C, after inputting the values of uh, the f of x we have here, the f prime of x and our p of x would have the integral from 0 to 1 of 2x cubed multiplied by the square root of 1 plus 2x squared with respect to x. And the 2x uh, squared there, it gives us 4x squared. So our expression will become the integral from 0 to 1, 2x cubed multiplied by the square root of 1 plus 4x squared with respect to x. But now to evaluate this integral, we would have to use a substitution. So the substitution that we use is u is equal to 1 plus 4x squared. So if we are using that substitution there, u is equal to 1 plus 4x squared, we find our derivative of u with respect to x, it will be 8x. So we have the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 8x. And uh, from uh, that derivative, we can uh, find our dx there. And we see that our dx is du divided by 8x. But on our limits here, we're having our x is varying from 0 to 1. We need to get the limits there in terms of our u. When x is equal to 0, u is equal to 1. We are substituting x equals to 0 here, and we get our u equals to 1. And when x equals to 1, substitute it here, we'll get our u is equals to 5. So for the integral from 0 to 1 of 2x cubed multiplied by the square root of 1 plus 4x squared with respect to x, it will become the integral from 1 to 5 of 2x cubed multiplied by square root of u multiplied by du and divided by 8x. Well, then I can just put these terms with uh, the x together there, and we have the integral from 1 to 5 of 2x cubed divided by 8x, then the square root of u with respect to u. 2x cubed divided by x, it will simplify to x squared divided by 4. So we have the integral there from 1 to 5 of x squared divided by 4, then multiplied by the square root of u with respect to u. So that's uh, the expression that we are having now. But we said we are using this substitution u is equal to 1 plus 4x squared. We can make x squared subject of the formula there. Then we have x squared is equal to u minus 1 divided by 4. So that's our x squared. So this x squared here, we'll go on and substitute it on this part here. And what we would get there is the integral from 1 to 5 of u minus 1 divided by 16, then multiplied by the square root of u with respect to u. And the 16 there is a constant, we can take it outside. Then using laws of exponents there, our expression will simplify to 1 divided by 16 multiplied by the integral from 1 to 5 of u to the power 3 over 2 minus u to the power 1 over 2 with respect to u. And when we integrate, the result that we get there is 1 divided by 16 multiplied by 2 divided by 5 u to the power 5 over 2 minus 2 over 3 u to the power 3 over 2 then put in the limits 1 to 5. So when we put those limits uh, 1 to 5, the result that we get there is 25 root 5 plus 1 divided by 60. So that's uh, the solution there for the integral with respect to the arc length along the curve C. So I'll now go back to evaluating the integral of 2xy with respect to y along the curve C using an alternative method. We were saying that we are having our curve is y is equal to x squared and our x is varying from 0 to 1. What we can do is for this given y, we can evaluate the derivative of y with respect to x and it will give us the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2x. And uh, from that derivative, what we can obtain there is our dy. It will give us dy is equal to 2x and dx. So if we have that dy is equal to 2x dx, we can substitute it into our integral there, the integral of 2xy with respect to y along the curve C. So what we we'll then go on and do is we substitute our y, we are saying is 
x squared. So we put it here. And we are saying that our dy is 2x dx. So where we have dy here, we'll put the 2x dx. So our integral becomes the integral from 0 to 1 of 2x multiplied by x squared multiplied by 2x dx. And uh, that will simplify to the integral from 0 to 1 of 4x to the power 4 with respect to x. And the integral of 4x to the power 4 gives us 4x to the power 5 divided by 5. Then put the limits 0 to 1 and it will give us a solution 4 over 5 which is the same solution that we obtained uh, using that formula that we had. But sometimes it might be easier just to work it out using this method.